Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. On this week's episode, we're talking about James Owenby, one Kenobi, and his special release bourbon. Ownby. Today we're talking about James Ownby's Reserve Bourbon Whiskey. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? I'm not using that cut. Yes, you are. <clears throat> Use the good one. All right. James Ownby Tennessee Straight Bourbon Whiskey made by Old Smoky. Technically, it's actually a blend of their stuff in an unnamed distillery in Tennessee. Now, I do love Old Smoky. I am good friends with, with their uh, local Texas rep. I've been to the distillery. They're great people. Joe and Johnny Baker are awesome. Just spend about three hours with Johnny Baker. Trust me, you say this till you t- till you try. This is good does, stuff. Does unnamed does unnamed Tennessee distillery mean what I what I what it usually means? You'll taste it and you'll find out. That's all you need to know. All right, that's fair. I can't tell you legally who it is. I do know who it is. I can't even tell you guys who it is though. They made me not be able to tell. That's um, so get a bottle from Bo, who works for the distillery. Like I said, I've been there. I've gotten free stuff from them. I love these guys. We are going to have actually their distillers and blenders on the show with us for a live. So these are, this is actually the most visited distillery in the world by far. Mm-hmm. Five million visitors a year, which is wow. insane. Second after that is Jack Daniels. They do 270,000. So it's not even freaking close. The uh, It's in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is at the bottom of the Smoky Mountains, which is the entrance to the uh, Netanhala National Forest. So it's a nice, fun place out there in Tennessee. Uh, so there's some really cool stuff about this. This is 47%. It's five years old. It is Lincoln County charcoal filtered, but they say the word bourbon on it just to tell Jack to go fuck themselves, which <laughs> I appreciate that. In fact, Jack sued them this, for this very slogan is, I don't know Jack, but I know Shine. They said, well, Jack, here's what they said. They actually won that lawsuit against Jack. Now, also hilariously funny. So all smoky, great place started back in uh, 2010. They started laying down their bourbon in 2009. Now, of course, they're well known for all their different flavored whiskeys. Their flavored moonshines. They sell like crazy. In fact, their sales are way above most American whiskeys right now. But let's talk about what this thing is. So the guy's name, this name for Dane Bonby, is the fifth great grandfather of Joe Baker, who is the current owner of Old Smoky. And he was a Revolutionary War hero at the Battle of Kings Mountain. He was one of the founding families in Tennessee back in the uh, 1700s. And what these are is the Overmountain men, and they would be guys who went over the Appalachian Mountains. It was basically it was the Western Frontier United States, you, was, you and the Indians. That's who lived out there. So he basically fought a lot of uh, wars against the Cherokee and other things. Also, of course, also against the lovely British. In fact, the Battle of Kings Mountain, when they did beat the fucking British, they were did so is a turning point in the war, said per, that's Thomas, per John, Thomas Jefferson. So a big deal to do that. This is a, so like I said, one of the very important people there. And of course, they did for moonshiners and all that fun stuff back in the day. Surprise, everybody in Tennessee was a moonshiner. But that's the way it goes. Hey, make moonshine. So this, this particular product is 79% corn, 13% rye, 8% barley. It's only currently available in five states, starting in Texas, Florida, New York, California, and Tennessee. That They have the fourth federally licensed distillery in Tennessee after Jack Daniels, George Dickel, Pritchard's, and then finally them. Also, the first distillery in eastern Tennessee. So they also have four different places now. They have the Holler in Gatlinburg, the Barn in uh, Pigeons Ford, the Barrel House, which is also in Gatlinburg, and then they have the new Peabody in Nashville. So this current recipe is over 100 years, and they also have this guy named Dave Pickerel work on this with them. So there just might be some amazing people that happen to work on this with the guys over at Old Smoky. So let's see what we think of this brand new premium reserve. And it's only $45, so that's a nice price point to come in for a a premium bourbon. All right, let's see what we think. Premium. (laughs) Yes, it says premium on the bottle even. Get out of my head. Good marketing. What is this? It's good marketing. It, it smells, it like, smells like bourbon. bourbon. <laughs> yes. It smells brown like sugar. premium bourbon. It does. I mean, I mean it smells like good. it's not it doesn't it doesn't have any faults. There's nothing, there's no sour mash component to there to this. Yeah. It doesn't have Plastics, any caramel, butterscotch. I get the apple yeah. side of it, not the cherry side. Yeah. Lemon, cinnamon, tea, caramel and vanilla tones for days. Barrel char, smoke, orange. Toffee. Mm-hmm. There's no outliers. There's nothing. There's nothing outside of what I would typically find in you know a a bit of leather, anise, rose water. You said this this was uh, charcoal filtered, maple charcoal filtered. It is. I love it that they say that and then they put the word bourbon on there. 
I do too. Hilariously funny. I was going to say, it almost smells like Pritchard's. They don't say who it is. Yeah. Yep. That's fair. Now, granted, Pritchard's is not Lincoln County process. No, I know. No, That's no, what no. I was saying. This means they're doing a damn good job is what it means. Yep. Yeah. All right. It's good shit. Oh, that Brown is good sugar, shit. Butterscotch, lemon, caramel, um, black tea. Yeah. Barrel char, smoke. What'd yeah. you say the percentage was this on this? 47. 45. 47. Proof. So nice. Got a nice proof point. Yeah. Nice oil yeah. to it. Um, it drinks, it drinks it about drinks that. It drinks about that. Yeah. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't, it's not overly harsh or, or you know, overly mm -hmm. watery. Orange nice chocolate. Um, chocolate saffron. and apples, cinnamon. Mm. Oh, what is that? Uh, powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh, those caramel cubes, the little white centers. I don't know what the hell those are called. Those I know what you're talking about, though. Um, soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chewy soft mm -hmm. things, yeah. It's very creamy. There's a chalkiness that comes through. Second mm -hmm. sip. There's a cherry chalky that comes through second sip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of cherry now in the second sip. You're right. Yeah, yeah but it's not... Like what oh. I think you think you think. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm, I'm not leaning that path. It's just no. It's more chocolate. like um, Buffalo Trace cherry to me. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, or um, what am I thinking of? Uh, those little um, calcium tabs. Uh, in acid chews. Oh, oh, like Tums. Tums. Yeah, like a Tums. Okay, I could but see. We that always buy. Here. We always buy yeah. off brand, so I don't remember. Okay. I could see that. Equate. <laughs> Equate. Walmart, what a great place to buy cheap stuff. Sam's. Even Six and one. Six? <laughs> dozen? Huh? Half dozen. Oops. Um, Can't count I today. really like this product. Yeah, I like it a lot. Because, yeah. you know, when we first saw that, I was like, okay, it's our friends. We'll check it out. Sure, whatever. I figured, I mean, whatever. I was like, oh, this is actually fucking good. So I was like, oh, wow, you guys did a really good job. So yeah, so their whole like I said, most of this is theirs, but they are they are sourcing some from there, so they do have to put produced on the bottle because they are blending with someone else's in, into theirs. But eventually, it'll be all their product. So most of this is their product, but there's a little bit blend in there, so they have to say produced on the bottle. But it's but, still ten, it's a still all Tennessee. It's still Tennessee whiskey. Yeah, it's a Tennessee bourbon. But yeah. with the Lincoln County process, like I said, to shove it up Jack Daniel's ass, which is yeah. hilariously funny to me. I like it. I like it. I think it's, it's really good. I. I'm, this is a really good first bourbon for them. I think they did a really good job. And if you ever get a chance to go out to the distillery, it's a beautiful place to go visit. They have a ton of different uh, things to try. I mean, you could probably try 40 different things out there. It's insane. It's a really good time, though, and they take good care of you. There's a reason why it's the most world's most visited distillery. It's a great time. Bring a spit cup. This is a good choice. <laughs> this is a good choice. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell and check us out on Monday nights for our live streams. And until next time, keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. If you want to be technical, James will be reserved. Reserved. James Owen B. Reserve. Own B, not Owen B. Own yeah. B. Own B. It's one word. It's not two. Own B. Own B. Yeah. Repeat after me. <laughs> Own. Own. B. B. Own. Own. B. Own B. Own B. Own B. Own B. You're not doing it. You're supposed to do like Joey does. <laughs> <laughs> when Phoebe's trying to teach him French. <laughs> oh, God, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Say it. Three, two. Own B. Own B. Five, four. Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm his wife. That was great. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, God. God. Oh, my face. Okay, hold on. I got two.
between the Joey thing and pulling that shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. We're already done. We can start again. Mm -hmm. Hello, be, hello. I'll do it right. Yeah.